Friends, do you know that the Super Doomsday weapon system that has been demonstrated to destroy the Earth more than 60 times is now in operation? It is the Dead Hand system inherited from the previous one. During the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union in order to deal with the United States' nuclear deterrence, the Soviet Union's top leaders decided to design a fully automatic nuclear counterattack system. This system is required to function normally even if all ground command and communication systems are destroyed and follows the design principle of mutual destruction and mutual destruction. The core of this Super Doomsday weapon included the most advanced computer systems and various sensors at the time to detect seismic waves, light, radiation, pressure, and other data to determine whether the Soviet Union had been subjected to a nuclear attack. Once the system detects an abnormality, it will automatically launch special broadcast missiles. These missiles do not have nuclear warheads, but are equipped with a special electronic device to broadcast to intercontinental missiles throughout the Soviet Union. Intercontinental missiles that receive the broadcast will automatically start the launch process and try to contact the Soviet top brass. If no high-level response is obtained within a certain period of time, the Death Hand system will default to the fact that the Soviet Union has entered a doomsday state. At this time, all missiles will carry out devastating nuclear bomb strikes according to the preset coordinates. It is understood that after decades of secret research and development and multiple combat experiments by the Soviet military, the Hand of Death system was officially launched in 1985. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the system was taken over by Russia. With the development of science and technology and military, the Death Hand system has also been upgraded many times. The current Death Hand system not only follows the supersonic Sarmat intercontinental missile, but also includes radars near Russian territory and satellites that collect intelligence from space. It has been updated with the latest radio technology and electronic countermeasure systems. Today's Death Hand system has become very powerful, achieving significant improvements in technology, autonomy, surveillance capabilities, and command and control to effectively respond to today's increasingly complex security challenges and threats.